Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Ready Prepping. Today we're going to be discussing the capabilities of these super budget portable uh, solar power stations and uh, as well as taking a look at this one in particular which is the APOW King uh, portable power bank with AC outlet. So uh, let's take a look at this device first and then I'll get into if I think these things are worth it and what the capabilities of them are. So taking a look at the APOW King uh, portable bank with AC outlet, uh, first thing is it's housed, it feels like metal, but I'm not completely sure. It feels very high quality. Some of the uh, reviews um, vary, and you can tell that some people may, may have gotten some defective products, but I've had this one for quite some time and I do use it actively. and. Uh, nothing bad has happened to it or with it uh, so on top you can see this has let me move the, this is, it comes with this case so if you get this you will get this case and there's other uh, little things that come inside which I can show you after uh, so right off the bat it does have a wireless charging uh, dock on top you could just lay your phone on there if you have a wireless charging phone and it will charge um, and I have seen that that does actually work. It has a little flashlight here, which uh, isn't super bright, but I can show you that in a bit. Other than that, the main reason you would buy something like this is mostly for this port right here, the AC out, the uh, 110 uh, port here. But it also has some USB ports and this is how you charge it right here. This is actually chargeable through USB-C and I believe it's the only way you can charge it. So another reason why I got this is for that very reason. The biggest solar panel I have at the moment is only a 28 watt. Uh, actually, I can just show it to you. Uh, this is my biggest solar panel right now. It's this little portable 28 watt uh, Big Blue. And it, it opens up to about, I think it's four of these. I can just show you. So it opens up, <laughs> forgive the fact that it's dirty, please. I, I actually use this thing regularly. Um, and it, the only output it has is USB. It doesn't have any other outputs. So I needed something that could charge using that. And uh, this fit the criteria very well. It also has this port here. Uh, it has a little adapter that does come with it to turn it into a 12 volt um, little cigarette lighter thing and I can show you that in a bit uh, the buttons here you actually have to turn the AC power on uh, turn, just turning the device on will just get you a a readout and uh, this button here turns on the flashlight I think you have to hold it yeah see it's not super bright but it's nice to have it has a strobe mode slower strobe mode so yeah, it, it has a, a couple of really nifty features, especially for the price. I wasn't expecting it to have, you know, like a flashlight. Um, and I actually, I didn't know it came with the, the cigarette lighter adapter. So that that's actually pretty cool too. So are these things worth it? Uh, in my personal opinion, it depends on what you want it for. So the only reason I bought this was specifically because I needed this port and I needed this port to be able to charge my laptop in case of an emergency and my wife's laptop in case of an emergency but um, and you're, you might find this a little silly the main thing I wanted this for was for my my portable DVD player I had searched everywhere to try to find a DVD player that actually could charge through USB and I've seen videos they exist even this company itself made some but they're not available anymore. I've looked everywhere and could not find one. So uh, this has to use a little DC in. And for that, you need to use the cable, which has the little AC plus, just like a regular cable, like every other device now, or used to now, it's mostly all USB. But um, yeah, that's mostly why I bought this device. And if you have that requirement for certain things like if you're using a portable dvd player uh, for your emergency entertainment which you don't need i will be doing a a, a video soon of an emergency entertainment tablet that me and my family have been putting together which is just like a leftover older tablet 
that we bought a big SD card for and are, are stuffing it full of like entertainment that we're downloading offline um, that we can view then offline. So uh, yeah, so th there's ways to get around not having to use a portable DVD player, but uh, it's something that I cared about and I have a bunch of like my favorite shows on DVD. So I needed something like this in case of an emergency. And plus I love my DVD player. I use it. I use this little DVD player all the time. Um, so if you don't have that requirement, uh, if I'm being completely honest, I don't recommend getting something like this. Uh, this device here is about half the price. It has the solar panels built in. Now the solar panels are smaller, so it'll take longer to charge, but this device actually has a higher capacity than this one. This device has 25,000 milliamp hours and this one tops out at, I think it was 83, actually I can take it. Yeah, 83 watt hours, which is only 22,500 milliamp hours. So you got 2,500, uh, excuse me, 25,000 watt hours and 22,500 22,500 watt hours here. So this is actually has, this has a, a higher capacity. And um, so if you want it just to store power and you don't need this 110 outlet, you could save yourself a lot of money with something like this. And you can actually attach the, I mean, uh, connect the big blue uh, solar panel to this as well. Cause this also charges through USB. And then it also comes with the built-in solar panels. So you might not even need that depending on what your situation is. Um, now, another thing you might consider this for is for the wireless charging on the top. Now, this wireless charger does work. I myself don't have a wireless charging phone. In fact, only one person in my whole family has one, and it's my mother-in-law. And we actually did use her phone, and it does charge. This actually does work. But if you only need that, you're probably better off getting something like this which is actually cheaper than this device. Um, now, however, this device does have a little less battery capacity than this one. This one's only 20,000 uh, milliamp hours. So this one is a little bit, uh, has a little bit higher capacity, but this has a wireless charging dock right here. You could just lay your phone on here and it will charge. And again, this does work. It has been tested with the same phone and um, yeah and this one comes with its solar panels as well now it has one less solar panel than this device so even though it is cheaper and offers the uh, the wireless capabilities if you don't need that honestly this is probably your best bet because as amazing as I think this device is and it offers you the 12 volt uh, using this little uh, the little dongle that comes with it and it offers you the one the 110 if you don't need that you're literally paying double the price of the well not literally paying double as of right now as of the recording of this video this uh the apow king is available on amazon for 79.99 uh, and then you can add an additional coupon for 16 dollars off which is around the price that i think i got it uh, so it is less than I think double the price of this because this is around I think maybe like $40 or like 45 so but it, that is significantly less than this so again not to harp on it but if you don't need the 110 and you even if you do need the wireless capabilities I, I think something like this would probably be better uh, you could save yourself a lot of money and you can get most of the stuff done that you need uh, in an emergency with just one of these like you, you won't be able to power your house and not like this could power your house either but um, you know you could charge your laptops you can charge your rechargeable lighters your rechargeable hand warmers your rechargeable batteries your tablet your cell phone um, most things you would need you can actually get done with this and a lot of uh, uh, van life uh, influencers have been switching from getting bigger power stations to stuff like this to be more minimal and and this like I said is, is very capable and also like I said also holds more capacity than this 
Uh, but let me finish showing you the stuff that it comes with because I do think this, uh, I don't re regret buying this at all. I think this is a, an awesome device. Um, and if I had to buy it again, I would, especially because like I said, I love my, my portable DVD player and I would not want to be without it in an emergency. Um, but it comes with this case and this case, believe it or not, is, is pretty nice. It's th this entire package here feels super quality. The, the case feels like metal. Uh, everything, the buttons are clicky. Everything feels super nice. The case, uh, the, not the casing, but the case that it comes with, um, feels super high quality. It has this zipper up top where I keep the extra little dongle it comes with. So this is just a little adapter that turns it into a cigarette port, uh, a cigarette lighter port. And you can use that to charge 12 volt devices or run 12 volt things. Um, and then it comes with the little uh, wall adapter to charge it as well. And it also came with a USB-C cable that my wife apparently stole from me. <laughs> uh, so in conclusion, the device has its purpose. I think it's worth buying if you need it. Uh, but if you're planning your, your preps around not needing the, the 110, uh, you can probably get away with just using something like this, especially since it comes with the solar panel already. And another thing to note that if you were to save double the amount, like if you would t were to just take some time and keep saving money and double this, there are better things you can buy on the market uh, with higher capacities that have the 110 port for this. So this is like a very niche product if you just like barely need it to power something very specific like like your laptop or like your portable dvd player uh, it has its purpose do i recommend it maybe it really depends on your situation but you let me know if you could use something like this uh catch you guys in the next video i hope this helped you somehow <laughs> um see you guys in the next one